Hey family, I'm Miranda here and today I have a haul video for you. So January has actually been a pretty slow month. I really didn't pick up a whole, whole lot, you guys. And honestly, uh, this year I really want to kind of focus more on like watching more of my collection rather than like buy, buy, buy all the time. Um, so depending on how much I actually do pick up each month, I may just do kind of like a end of the month wrap up sort of thing where I show you guys everything that I picked up. Unless of course I do get like a bunch of titles from like one place or something like that um, but for this month I am going to share with you guys everything that I picked up uh, I do have a couple things from Amazon um, a few things from Facebook I did uh, place an order during the uh, vinegar syndrome uh, subscriber week sale um, and then I did also go to a Goodwill yesterday so I have all of that to share with you so let's go on ahead and uh, get right into today's haul all right, so I guess we'll go on ahead and start off with Amazon. I only picked up two things. So first up, I did pick up the DVD of The Cleansing Hour. This is a Shudder exclusive. So if you have Shudder, definitely check this one out. It is one of the better Shudder titles. Basically, you have this guy who broadcasts on the web these uh, you know, fake exorcisms, but just so happens that one day, one of the exorcism actually turns out to be real. I thought that this was just a fun little flick like all around. Uh, the practical effects were great and everything, and and I really enjoyed the heck out of this one. It was definitely had its like creepy elements and everything to it. Um, so yeah, definitely if you have Shutter or whatnot, definitely uh, check this one out. Um, this one, like Shutter DVDs, when they first come out, they tend to go for like 10 to 12 bucks or so. Um, the Blu-rays usually run about like 13 to 16. Um, but this one dropped down in price and I, I missed it the first time that it had dropped down, but it dropped back down to seven. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and snag it because I did really, really enjoy this one. So wanted this one for the collection. All right, the next item that I got off of Amazon, I'm super excited about you guys. And seriously, everything does not have to be day one. It pays to wait, you guys, because I picked up a box set here and when it first came out, it was going for a hundred bucks. So people were paying a hundred dollars for this box set. And of course the price kind of dropped down slowly. Um, and this is actually on Amazon right now for 50 bucks, but it had a 20% coupon on top of that, making the set only $40 which is a steal and that's probably honestly the lowest it's ever going to go um, but I did pick up the uh, box set here the arrow box set uh, the enter the video store um, and this thing is awesome I will say though uh, it's a little bit smaller than it kind of looks like on camera or in pictures and stuff like that and uh, also the obviously this is one that you kind of want to you know put on display and everything but I feel like if you forget that um, it's open down here like that. Like they're just all gonna come falling out. So that's kind of my only downside to this little set. Um, but other than that, this is a really cool little set. I've never seen any of the titles in here. You get the Dungeon Master Dolls, Cellar, Dweller, Arena, and Robot Jocks. Um, Dolls specifically is one of the reasons why I wanted this set. It's one that I've been super curious about uh, for some time. I've kind of seen like bits and pieces of it, but never like in full. Um, and the Blu-ray alone before this box set even came out was going for like over a hundred bucks, which is insane. Um, but again, I don't know much on the other titles. I've heard Arena is actually pretty good, but let me go ahead and uh, share with you guys here the uh, titles in the box. So we do have uh, the Dungeon Master. And then we have dolls. And I think this has the reversible artwork, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to check on that. But yeah, uh, we have Cellar Dweller, Arena, and Robot Jocks. So yeah, pretty nice little box set from Arrow. And for only $40, I just, I could not pass on that. All right, so getting on into Vinegar Syndrome. So they did do their uh, subscriber week uh, sale this month and I only picked up a few titles because you guys, honestly, Vinegar Syndrome, I have a list of titles that I am like super interested in. Um, there's ones that are of interest to me and several that have also come like highly, highly recommended like from everybody in the community. Um, and so I'm kind of strictly trying to stick to that list and not really, you know, buying too much that's not on my list. Um, and subscriber week honestly is the way to go you guys got some great deals so I only have three titles that I got one is from my list the other two were just kind of uh you know things that were of interest um so I did pick up this uh Rebels of the Neon God the storyline just seemed very intriguing and um it is in Mandarin um but it looks like it takes place like on the streets of like Taiwan or something so yeah it just seemed very very interesting to me so I want to go ahead and check that one out 
All right, the next title I got here is Blood Delirium. This is one that has come highly recommended from several people, so I figured I would go ahead and pick it up, check out. It definitely seems pretty like on the twisted side. You basically have this like maniac uh, artist or whatever, his wife dies, and uh, he has her like dug up and everything and kind of like trying to preserve her, you know, presence and whatnot. And it so happens that he meets some girl who highly resembles her and stuff so you can only imagine what kind of takes place after that but uh yeah it's seems pretty kind of a uh, creepy a little bit uh a little bit disturbing i don't know but it looks pretty good so yeah we'll see but it's come highly recommended in the community all right, and the last vinegar syndrome title that I have here is The Birds 2. Um, obviously, I've seen the first Birds, and I really, really enjoyed the heck out of that one. I don't expect this one to really, like, live up to the first film, but I still wanted to go ahead and check this one out nonetheless um, and just kind of see. But, yeah, it looked pretty good. So hopefully it's somewhat decent um, in comparison to the first film. All right, so moving on to Facebook, I have three titles that I picked up. So this one, I don't know if it's gonna be any good. I know it is like a musical of some sort, um, but I really got it because it has Milo Mannheim from the Disney zombie films. And he was also just in the film Thanksgiving, which I need to pick up a copy of that. Um, but it's this film here called Journey to Bethlehem. Obviously it has to do with the kind of like nativity story and everything. So, I mean, <laughs> but like in musical form. So. I mean, I really just wanted it for him right there. So uh, I'm going to check it out. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not. But yeah, got Journey to Bethlehem. Course had to get Trolls Band together. Did not get a chance to see this one in theaters. We were going to and then just got super busy and stuff. Um, so I have it here. And in my household, we are huge, huge fans of the Trolls films. So cannot wait to check this one out. I know the kids are going to be excited about this one because they have been bugging about it and uh, asking me if I'm going to be getting it or not. So we have it now. And the last item that I got from Facebook is actually an upgrade. I had the DVD collection set. So now I have the Steelbook Blu-ray set of the Leprechaun collection here. Um, and it is still factory sealed. All right, so that is the front, you guys. And then this is the back. Of course, you have the J card here. Um, and then each film, which is awesome, is on their own separate discs here. Um, so they are stacked together. So you got like four per stack. Let me go ahead and show you guys the inside artwork. But I'm excited to have upgraded this one. I've only seen like the first and second, possibly the third one, I think. Um, and I know that I've seen, um, what is it, uh, In the Hood, I think. All right, so the inside looks like that. And actually, the discs, you guys, um, they do have like two films per disc, it looks like. Um, so we have the first and second here. Um, then we have the third and fourth, the fifth and sixth. And then we have, uh, let's see, these ones are on their own. The seventh and eighth ones are on their own. But yeah, a um, little bit hard to get uh, a couple of the discs out. But other than that, this is a pretty nice little seal book. And I dig that they're kind of almost all on their separate discs. But yeah, so Leprechaun Collection, pretty cool little set to have. And if anyone is interested, the digital copy is here for you to grab um, the eight movie collection. Uh, all I ask is that you please, please, please in the comments below, just state if you grabbed it or not. Um, that'll help people out and, you know, not wasting their time to try and get it. Um, but yes, there's the code. All right, so moving on to Goodwill. I stopped in yesterday with my girls. Um, I switched their doctor's office, and so by their doctor's office, there is a Goodwill. So now every time we go to the doctors, we're gonna be hitting up Goodwill. Um, but we decided to stop in right quick. We had a little bit of time before the appointment, and so I found a few titles here, mostly DVDs and stuff, but um, so yeah. Anywho, I did pick up The Incredible Hulk, and it does have the lenticular slip. It's not the greatest, you know, but technically I didn't even need this, you guys, but because of the slip, and because of the green case, <laughs> um, I had to get this, you guys, honestly. I mean, I already had the film, but for the slip itself and for the green case, I just, I, I had to have it. It was calling my name. It's not every day that I find the, you know, like the one with the green case or anything like that. And so I'm not really looking to just buy a whole bunch of green cases, you know? Um, so 
I really just got this for the slip and the case, so. but yeah, The Incredible Hulk. I, I just had to have this one, you guys, so we got that. Um, next up, we have the film A Nothing to Lose. It has been a long, long time since I've seen this one, but I do remember this one being pretty dang funny and uh, just a good time, um, so I'm excited to revisit Nothing to Lose, and I mean, you can't go wrong there with Martin Lawrence and Tim Robbins. I mean, oh, what's not to love about the two of them? But yeah, so we got Nothing to Lose. Um, this next one, I literally saw somebody haul this the other day, and I'm trying to recall who the heck it was, um, and I'd never heard of this film, but we have Tom Arnold in The Kid and I. Um, it's funny how that kind of works. You learn about a film, and then shortly, you know, a couple days later, a couple weeks later, you kind of start seeing it, like, everywhere and stuff, so we have The Kid and I. And basically you have Tom Arnold's character as a kind of washed out, you know, actor. And so he uh, ends up being paired with this uh, kid who literally has no like um, acting experience or anything like that. And so it's just kind of like one bad thing after another, I guess. Um, so it definitely seems like a kind of wholesome little comedy and whatnot. So it, it looks like some fun. So I figured I would go ahead and pick it up to check out. All right, so next up, I settled for the uh, DVD here of The Constant Gardener. This is one that I usually kind of see out and about like all the time. And uh, for whatever reason, I just kind of always passed on it. But recently, I'd actually heard some good things on it. And I guess I never really looked much into this film because, I mean, with a title like that, it doesn't really seem that appealing. Um, but it actually looks like a pretty dang good film. It does have to do uh, kind of with like this conspiracy and like government stuff and whatnot and so it just seemed like a really, really good watch. Um, I know it does have like a region lock Blu-ray and I think that the US Blu-ray is actually out of print um, because I was looking on eBay, which I kind of need to do a little bit more diving on into it. But uh, yeah, I was seeing the used Blu-ray go for like 40 bucks or more, which is crazy. So um, I'm pretty set with the DVD for now. All right, this next film I got really just because it has Boris Kojo in it, and that is this film called All About Us. And I just really got this. I saw him on here. I'm like, you know what? I got to get it because I do like him. And I didn't even read into this film. And actually, now that I was reading on the back of this, it is actually inspired by a true story. And it has to do um, that the this couple here, um, I guess they kind of meet, but they're both, uh, I guess, like kind of like struggling filmmakers of some sort. And so they set out to go persuade Morgan Freeman to be in their next movie and stuff. So... A, you know and romance along the way and all that so it seemed kind of interesting now that I'm kind of reading this um so I mean hopefully it's something that I enjoy but yeah for Boris Kojo I definitely wanted to check this one out all right next up we have this volleyball flick it's called the miracle season now since I was in a hurry yesterday I I knew I had this on my list but I didn't know I had it uh saved you know to pick up the blu-ray of it because it does have a blu-ray available it is what it is if I end up liking this I'll upgrade to the blu-ray at some point it's kind of very inexpensive but uh yeah so we have the miracle season I don't have any volleyball flicks in my collection I don't think um and there really aren't like a whole lot of them out there um but it's definitely one that I wanted to check out it is based on a true story it has to do with the uh uh, Iowa City West High School girls volleyball team and about them going I guess to winning like the state championship or something like that so I mean it's volleyball sports flick I'm down so got the miracle season all right, and lastly, of course it was a successful trip because I did find a snapper that I did not have. And that is this film here with Antonio Banderas and Lucy Liu, and that is this film called Ballistic uh, X versus Sever. I don't know, but it was on my snapper wish list. I kind of have a few certain snappers that I am looking for uh, for the collection that I just did not have. And so this definitely looks like a good watch, um, some sort of like action, you know, film of some sort, I don't know. Um, but I definitely needed this one for my snapper collection. So that is everything that I have to share with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed my pickups. Let me know if you guys have seen any of these films and your thoughts on them. And let me know if you guys have picked up anything cool this month of January. Thank you so, so much for watching. Join the family if you have not, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.